Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Spyro a Hero's Tale adventures. Last time we went to basically the beach area, fought Ursula. We also went to the sky for some reason. At least the Atlantis place kind of made sense. No idea why we went to the sky. And uh, the mini games started to get a little bit mean. But we're going to have to see how this place plays out. We're about 45% of the way through. So, yes. Let's -a go. There's not really any reason to check out you. Yeah, this is just more of that. We're going to be. Fa <laughs> According to the cutscene that we got, we're going to be fighting like a mammoth for some reason. Oh, yeah. Can't we. I forget. Can't we. Like, dig. or Like, I could have sworn that we could dig, like, as Spyro, but I don't know. I am but a fool. Also forgot that we had Wing Shield for a moment. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I actually use the streams to tell what <laughs> day of the week it is. I function as a calendar, huzzah! Hello, Dapper Penguin! You must be Spyro. Named Phil. Designed myself. Ugh. Something complex that those brainless narcs would never figure out. They're gonna figure it out like immediately. Your skill and intellect would do it in no time. Okay, okay. Interesting. Chase, what do I need to do? <laughs> oh, just activate all the electric switches in this area within the time limit, and the gate will open. It's actually as simple as that, really. Uh, nothing complex at all. <laughs> And immediately, Maybe he doubts his skills. Out, but they would have never been fast enough to do it. Now the Egg Thieves. You wanna give it a go, oh, it's actually like a minigame minigame. Sure. And then they spawn in. I just need to figure out where all of them are. Kind of rude. You make an arch of ice, and then you don't let me through. So it's mostly just needing to find where all they are in here. Because I don't know where they might be. Because, yeah, it kind of showed us, but it mostly just panned around the area. So I know where four are. I wish that they were just in the world so I could actually sniff them out, find them, do them quickly. It's almost weird that it's a mini game. Also, I thought that was, I didn't know what that was, but it turned out to be a bird. Let's try again. Activate all switches within the time limit to open the game. I know, game, but you didn't show me where all they are. <laughs> uh, you wanna give it a go, I wish I could skip dialogue. <laughs> That's like one thing that... <laughs> That's funnily one thing that, like, uh, Enter the Dragonfly did good. You could very, very quickly get through all the dialogue. And once again, I got tripped up because they swapped the breathe and, and charge buttons. I still don't know why they did that. It's a very odd thing to change. Also, it's very weird that I can't find them all very quickly. Alright. And I believe there was one behind here. Like, I know that it's a security system, but still. For the love of All God, let me skip this guy's dialogue. Within the time limit to open the gate. Uh, like, seriously, there's no the reason to have, like, Oh, just do it in the time limit! You know, the game mechanic. In fact, it only really shows two of them, which is a very weird decision to only show. Well, actually, yeah, I just wanted to make sure they weren't being sneaky. 
It'd be funny if, like, who knows? Maybe they did put it in his shop. You can never tell some developers. So I know where five are, but where's the last one? Again, I wish they were just out in the world and I could do it on my own time. But they're being weird about it. within the time limit to open the gate. Uh, this is just needless. Go, like, sure, have it be where if I hit one, it begins the countdown. Or, like, I have to hit a switch, then it begins the countdown, but, like... But... Are you saying that there was, like, one hidden around here? Are you one of them? What the hell? I don't even know. I just spun around, and it got activated, too. What the hell? I do not know. There is a ghost node in here, I guess. That's stupid. Oh, never mind. That just got activated from a million years away. How? What? How, how did that happen? How did I activate that from a billion miles away? That, that, that's weird. I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. I'm still getting ever so slightly annoyed by this one that's just hidden out there. Yeah, because it just pans around, but doesn't show. Which is just weird. Just making sure I'm looking at everything, because they are all out on the outskirts, or at least they should be. Doesn't seem to be anywhere here. Oh, uh, why put it behind that? It's just mean. I thought it would be, like, another invisible wall segment. Instead, they're just like, we're gonna put it out here for some reason. How dare. That's just a silly place to put it. Of all the places, why there? For my wife Peggy, she's a penguin like me. She went off skating earlier, and I've not seen her since. Well, now we have to be on the lookout for penguin mommy milkers. Because doubtless everything has mommy milkers in this game, really. Oh, we should take a look at the map, actually. Because let's see. Over there is uh, the big enemy. Then there is a supercharged power-up station. Hmm. And then these things are now here forever. That's another odd decision. Why have them stay after the minigame if they spawn in with the minigame? That's just weird. Well, I guess it looks like that's just like a, a very tiny segment area, so we can go annihilate everything that's within. Goodbye, Nork. No one will miss you. Hmm. I was wondering. I wonder if it's timed. Because you can never tell of this game. Oh, hey, it's Peggy. Oddly without mommy milkers. I can't believe that your husband locked you away. Which is weird. 
He's like, I haven't seen my wife in forever. Yeah, because you locked her away. Well, let's see. Tallies and help. Firing. Yeah, fire shells for continuous fire. Targeting cursor. Ah, so it's just uh, this again. Die, you fiends. Get out of here. This is not your home. Go to hell instead. Mate, freeze over. At least there shouldn't be any flyers. Why is that one super active? Like, seriously, I just shot you. Go hell. I'm looking at my radar and nothing's showing up. Ah, great. Now the Yetis are coming into play. But why, though? So on the second run, we're going to have to air strafe this area. We're just killing the Yetis. Now I'm gonna... It's probably gonna combine them, isn't it? What the hell? That's a mean place for the Yetis to spawn, if you ask me. Especially because they're spawning very quickly. I, I feel like that's going to be the very aggravating enemy for the hard mode. For the light gym run. Because they just instantly come out and begin throwing. Thank you, Spyro. Here, take this dragon egg as a reward. How'd you even get it? Like... I know the egg thieves went in and stole them all, but that gang of troublemakers has returned. Would you get rid of them for me? There's a light gem in it for you this time. Sure, we'll suffer. And then you and your husband Phil will be separated forever. Probably because she'll be too enamored with Spyro's dragon eggs. For this one, I really need to keep an eye on the radar. Again, that one is very active. Just need to be on the lookout for the Yetis spawning. Problem is, I don't know how threatening these guys are. Are you gonna begin coming out now? Nope. Just strafe the Yetis. Strafe the Yetis. Ah, crap. So it does look like I can shoot their projectiles out of the sky if I'm a little slow. Like, I shoot you and you would immediately respawn. Go away. How is it even a, like, a snowball that's my biggest threat from that guy? The other ones were throwing TNT. Also, I wish that the cursor was a little better. Or, like, the projectiles. 
Ah, there's a little bit more, I know. I see you. I see you, Satan. Again, it's always that hole. Luckily, I don't need to go through without getting hit at all. That would be very mean. Your mini game was uh, much nicer than your husband's. Is it safe yet, Spyro? Or do they keep coming back? You can go back if you want. I'm staying here. <laughs> then why even have me clear out the, the rink if you're just gonna stay? Get smashed. And open up the way, maybe. Let me guess, this is a way to another area? Since it's like a dead end. Oh, no, it just leads to the under... Why would even... Why'd you do that, game? That's very mean. I do find it funny that you can't charge at all. That's very mean game. Have a random hole inside your hole. Only have this one be a hole of death. Ah, so we're fighting the mole people the entire time. For your game of TNT toss, you have killed all your friends. And only mildly aggravated me. For I am a dragon. I explode on the regular. Idiot. Oh, just... Random bombs. I guess I should probably go and try to buy some... Satchel upgrades. Then again, I hardly ever use them. Like, out of everything in this game has introduced, I've used the bombs the least. Oh, hey. There's things underneath. Oh, it's probably because this is, like, the underneath area. Like, that's where I went, maybe? Or maybe I'm dumb. And we have one more lockpick left. Let's see. Is that up? That is not up. Interesting that it reset, but we shall reset it again so I can go and do things. Like conquer the world. Let's see what happens when I do this. How dare. No hiding underneath the snowman, weirdo. If only I was going to follow up the take over the world comment in character as Spyro with and get dragon pussy. But oddly, it seems like every single chance Spyro has to take on a love interest, he just says, nah. I'm just going to go and save the world again. What even is this? Like, this feels like this should activate something. But I guess it doesn't. So we shall leave you be, I suppose. <laughs> so Spyro is Sonic. It's just extra funny that the only character that the fans seem to really ship Spyro with is Alora. At least until the Legend of Spyro, then there's Cinder. But classic Spyro shipping? It's only Alora, and she's, like, only in the f second game. Or was she in the third one? I forget. It's been a long time. 
bits of the second game blend in with like the second game. Why not buy more? I guess we'll buy because we can. I wonder if there's even a purpose for that. Like the water bombs. Let's see. Now that we cleared out that way, there's basically only other one uh, one other way we can go until we activate the next supercharge. Diddly. Wait a minute, I just remembered something. Uh, but it doesn't look well. Yeah, we'll activate the next, like, shop beacon and then we'll go do it. Because I just remembered that there is another, like, thing that we can do, like, uh, in an earlier area. Because we unlocked the upgrade platform. And I just completely have f f forgotten it. I wonder if Blink will appear and be like, Sorry, Spyro. I have to fight you for my family's honor. You know, since you're fighting moles. We'll get the deep lore of Blink. He'll be like, Yeah, my family <laughs> sold me into slavery. Just an empty place. <laughs> ah, there you are, Blink. You're not gonna betray me for your mole people, are you? With your unblinking eyes. I'm looking forward to exploring in this area. I'm always up for a challenge. Underground, tight spaces, and freezing cold. <laughs> Why the unique animation for him? But down we go. Let us see if uh, they've upped the evil of this one. I will need bombs for you, presumably. It is interesting that, like, they seem to... Oh! <laughs> hmm. So do I have bombs? Ah, for a moment there, I thought I didn't have bombs. Destroy the ice! Get crystal powers. Oddly, aside from, like, uh, me sucking at the platform... <laughs> okay. But yeah, aside from me sucking at the platforming... So far... Blinks has been, like, the least bad, in my opinion, when it comes to the... the minigames. Well, I guess I'm down here now. Dang it. Oh, that guy's fast. Oh. All right, speedy toot. I can't believe that we're killing Skeletor. Just also random skeletons. Um, Bob. For a moment, I thought that that bug just wouldn't die. Take bomb! I said, take bomb! <laughs> I forgot our streams are on Wednesday. I understand that sometimes, some days just don't feel like normal days. Yeah, man. Do some digging, weird mole child. Just gotta avoid the whippersnappers. Up oh, and drown. So it seems like this will be a platforming terrible. But at least we begin in a decent enough place, I suppose. Take this bomb. 
think that'll hit. Of course it didn't hit. How dare. Come on, aim true. I could do it the normal way, but that would be boring. Haha. -ha. And then we'll just go and save again and get bombs unless I can't get up here. We can get up here. Good. And apparently all the enemies respawned when I walked away. <laughs> Don't even know what you are. Hmm. I guess let's just try to go all the way. All right. Make it back to land. And we'll do this. Spider mole time. Now take cover. If you duck and cover right next to the nuclear bomb, you cannot die. It's science. Ah, uh, neat. I was just hedging on a bet there. Oh, bastard. That's very mean game. But I can definitely see that they're ramping up the let's just make this difficult by making it annoying philosophy inking in here, too. I just want to kill this guy, game. Let me go. Unless I can blow up the tentacles. Let's try it out. Can I blow you up? Ah, uh, that's a horribly primed one. All right, I can kill them with bombs. Huh. For some reason, I didn't expect that. Maybe I can destroy them with, uh, like, normal blaster fire, too. It just takes a while. Ah. Because I think it was early on, and I tried to shoot them. And I just, like, kind of gave up shooting them. Damn it. I don't want to wait, game. Let me just play! The platforming's wonky enough that I don't really shouldn't need to wait that long to do some platforming. Also, it'd be nice if I could just have a safe point uh, down here. Especially because they have, like, the stupid crumble rock right there. So, like, they're forcing you to go fast, but then they're like, bah, we're gonna punish you for going fast. It's just, like, an annoys me. It's not technically bad design, it's just an annoyance of mine. But luckily, we got a save point. Now let's just shoot people. Let's see if we can shoot this guy from around here. Goodbye, giant bug. Oh, hey. Interesting. I guess these are kind of bugs that can only be shot. Well, oh, dang it, game. Why is it before I use, I need to, like, double jump to get onto them, but now you're like, ah, we'll accept <laughs> single jump now. So, yeah, it seems like bomb is the only way to kill those guys. Go ahead and shoot you, because we can. Hi, right, nope. We'll throw a bomb, and then save. Maha. Darn you. I wanted to test out a bomb theory. Don't know why that guy was walking away and then decided I'm going to come back. Have actual, like, uh, patterns, please. 
so we can play game. Ah. So there's where this is where the bullshit comes in. Because I can't shoot the other guy from my angle. Like that guy I can shoot, but the other bug can't really. But I suppose I can shoot while hanging. But still, I feel like that should have been covered in like... But at the same time, you are kind of disincentivized from... Hanging and shooting at the same time because of those guys, the little wander bugs. So even then, I still think that's kind of bad. If there was a way to shoot them, maybe. Doesn't seem like I can bomb them. I wish that I could just shoot you. And your weird little knot pattern. Now I should be able to go, because he'll do his little walk around. I'll head this way, because there's solid ground. Okay, just get me out of here. Drop a bomb there. Yeah, I probably want to hit. <laughs> it hit one! I am a magician! We shall leave it there as my calling guard. Plus another reason we came this way, in case that guy was herald of more shooty shooting. Now, now I don't know your pattern at all. Oh, well, fuck off, game. Ha just have that booger snot bug spawned in from the go. Why waste my time waiting for that guy to activate his cycle so that I go and, like, ha-ha, bug that shoots you appears. And I'd rather not, like, do the shoot from hanging in case that guy's coming back around. I'd rather shoot from safety. That's just annoying design. That's bastard design. That is design of sociopathic YouTube prankster who gives a paint sandwich to a homeless person. That is the kind of thing. That is what you've done, developers. How dare. I think this is all just dead zone. Hmm. So I guess there has to be more that way. Where else could I miss? So many dark crystals. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go except this way, maybe. Because I guess this is the exit. For some reason, that didn't look like the other you can claw through moments that I'm used to. And now ice physics are added here. Get shot, idiot. Oh. A single bomb works. And I shall shoot you. We will snipe them all from here. And we'll snipe you, because we can. More bombing. And from here... More sniping can be done, potentially. Eh, we'll just, like, try to shoot the skeleton. Because why not? Ah, oh, there's, a, there's a limit to how far I can shoot. I have been scammed by the universe. 
And I don't really need to go after all the gems, since I don't really have any major upgrades left to go after. Hello, Yeti man. You're not gonna stab me. How dare you? I can shoot them. And little did everyone know that it was Blink from the Grassy Knoll. It doesn't seem like we can get up there, but I don't think we need to, neither. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to actually... Oh, never mind, now they kind of spawn in. Yeah, but we kind of still have to finagle our way in. Especially because that one guy just, just... Maybe I did shoot that one guy. Also, kind of amusing that killing those guys makes them drop a bomb. But now that I have the rough idea of what I need to do... Shall be able to go through much faster for the light gym. After I died many times, it was quite traumatizing. You know what would be cruel? Is if they have that prompt, you go through the harder version of the minigame, and then the game goes, psych! <laughs> In actuality, there was no extra light gym. Oh, it looks like if you... I don't know. It, it almost looks like there's a roundabout comeback point. Which honestly wouldn't be a terrible design decision. Alright, let's see if we can survive this without getting hit. Nope. What even is the point of that? That seems weird. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything that way. Let's see if we can... It, does, it seems like some enemies respawn, so it's like not totally important. But I can at least take out this gem. Yeah, game. I know. I've played this mini game three times by now. Technically, m more if you count the. Also, why are these guys respawning so quickly? That's just stupid. Fine, I shall do that instead. Personally, I think the enemies should stay dead. But maybe that's just me. Also just interesting that they decide to throw in skeletons of all enemies. And I guess technically bear traps as enemies? Hello, bug. At least you make some sense because there were spiders before. Quickly do a heal. Well, not a heal, but quickly do a, a save. And you know what, we're actually going to head back and activate the save again. So that we don't have to constantly destroy that one if we inevitably fall to our deaths again. Get shot. Get shot by the power of mole magic, which is science. The double jumping in this game does still slightly frustrate me. Because it feels like it kind of punishes you waiting. Where sometimes... It's like a 50-50. If you wait, sometimes you can do your double jump, sometimes you can't. And oftentimes it feels like you can't. Okay, we're just going to shoot you. So we have a small chance to run through. Wait. Damn you, game. 
I swear those pendulums just go too fast. It's just bothersome. And again, why even have a crumbling deadly day? Again, we're getting to the point of annoying design, not difficult design. I even have a crumbly. A game! Come on! <laughs> I'm waiting at the perfect point and then you punish me anyway. Game. Let me play game. Also, I shot you and killed you and went to save. You should be permanently dead. Go away. That is the rule of the universe. Also doesn't help that the crumbling platform isn't just like a static thing, flat platform that shakes and then falls. No, it is different geometry pieces, so they fuck up your movement. Of which, again, why? That's just extra effort to annoy the player. Do that, just so that it's a little out of the way. And there we go. Ah, so maybe we can actually shoot you from here. Ah, we can shoot you from here. It feels like they moved his spawn. We're going to wait for this little bug guy to begin his loop again, just in case. Because you never know. Oh yeah, I forgot this would probably be outranged. And again, we'll let you do your loop. It looks like he is on his way. It does feel like they activate their loops just a little bit faster. Game. Game, I hate you. Don't hit me. Why have the lamps here just there as geometry to hurt me? Can I shoot you from here? I cannot. Darn you, range! And now I have to wait for you to go and come back again. Yeah, because sometimes you can cut the corners of the times. So oh, we have to be careful. Because bug guy. Luckily, this one just kind of goes in a circle. Rather than doubling back, I think. Please don't double back. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I said that he does a double back and then he immediately double back to spite me, I'd be very angry. Want to make sure that it didn't have me in its range, just in case. Hmm. Considering that they've added more, I can presume that there is maybe. Huh, this guy's activated this time around. Maybe because they knew that the player would know about it, so they're like, oh, we can't do our sick trick. I'm gonna go over there just in case there's like a dark gym. Hiding within the draw distance or something. Doesn't look like it, so we'll be making our way back after this guy goes about his cycle. Does assuming increase range? I doubt it. Because that just seems an arbitrary thing to do. That would be a weird thing to do. Well, let's go and see how they put six in this next room, because it is the next room that we've never seen before. Oh, no, we have seen this room. I just, eh, it just didn't click in my mind. Excuse me, for some reason. For some reason, I just completely forgot about this segment.
But at least there's no instant death pits in this next segment, so... I should be quite fine. Ah, darn it. For a moment, I thought I could shoot him from here. Nope, can't shoot you from here. You are safe for now, little mole man. And duck and cover just in case, because it is a big mine. You'd think that the final part of this kind of level would be... I hate that he does like to throw animation, but he doesn't actually throw sometimes. Depending on how you move. Alright, darn it. Well, at least we can just come down here and uh, shoot you standing still. I guess I got the other guy with, like... The explosion of the dynamite box that they were playing with. Remember, kids, don't play with dynamite. It'll kill you. Just wondering where the last one was. Dodge this laser beam, man. Again, why is, like, just normal human skeleton the enemy for this segment? And also, they're quite speedy. At least they're, like, just a normal enemy. Nothing too scary. But let's see. Can I shoot from far away? Not sure if that, like, does increase the range or not, but why not? Let's hedge our bets. And yeah, that guy got shot. So really, we can just stay to the side. Ah, there's another one. Concerned that there is a wall hole. I'm going to assume that we need to go this way for the next one, which is interesting. Shit. Maybe I should kill myself before going... Game, I would like to... Get out of the hole. Unless they hit it in a weird place. I did take note of that. But, like... I don't see where else it could be. I just need to make sure to not... stumble over, like, a... save point. Unless it's, like, in a very weird spot? Like, why? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's down here. Hmm. Just my thought opinion, but if you have to add in a loop point... Because you obtusely put a necessary thing somewhere, maybe just design better, is my initial thought. Instead of adding in a loop point, make game good so don't need loop point? Perhaps? Maybe? Unless it, like, looped me to the, <laughs> the original first level. Because some of the enemies didn't spawn, which is a little weird. Like, <laughs> some enemies stay dead, some respawn. And now for the thing that's probably going to kill me. Wait for you. 
Hmm. Just look around just in case. I think if I go this way, he won't come after me. Because they're just a loop, not in, like an actual enemy. That's just weird, because there's not any here, not any over there. Oh, I waited too long. My bad. Ah, shit. Almost got hit, but luckily didn't. We're gonna let him loop. Because we can. Yeah, because I'm just looking down here in case they're being a super bastard. Hiding it down there for some reason. You never know. Sometimes in the game developers can get shaky bastarding. We already checked that other platform, and it's not over there. Yeah. So yeah, overall, weird design decision. Hmm. Ah, you were hidden here, just out in the middle of nowhere. Weird that they just had a loop option. You think they just like say, oh no, you don't have all of them yet. Don't go. But luckily, not bad for having to go looping. So yeah, aside from the weird geometry of the one ba ba ba, the fall platform, not bad, I'd say. Just had to get used to the weirdness they decide to throw in. And the amusement of just actual human skeletons. Why are you so quick on the draw, Mr. Mole Man? Also kind of amusing that... Blink is just totally willing to murder his fellow mole kind. No hesitation. I do like that these guys... Game, he was on his backswing. How dare you? <laughs> Sorry, Yeti Man. A small <laughs> mole man already used that trick, so I was privy to it. I'm temporarily soft blocking heart gold. I do not have a fishing rod. That's kind of weird, unless you're doing, like, a randomizer. Darn it. What is even the point of the bombs, then? What is the point of the bombs if they don't even work? Let's see. So in actuality, we should probably go this way, and then jump back. Ah, shit. You almost had me, but I'm too quick on the draw, you bitch. Ah, I was wondering what I had to do to get by. Apparently the answer was wait. Yeah, we'll finish off this little segment, then head back the other way. Oh, hey, an egg thief down here, so there is a reason to go down here. Uh, 
annoying to have a chase loop in which I can get stuck on the geometry. But luckily I cheesed him before it became a problem. Die, Yoshi Egg Stealer. No one loves you, not even your mother, Mama Yoshi. I think I need to... What the fuck? I hate when... I hate when Spyro does a weird figure eight when I try to go forward. Sometimes it's just like, whoop! Have to do a turn. That just is a weird programming quirk game. Stop it. Also, it'd be nice if, like, for some of these closer platforms. I wish I had better ranged options. But I don't, because the bombs suck. Fuck off, I killed you, you, you bastard. It's just annoying. I killed him, but now I have to go through all this bullshit again. My favorite. Enemies that respawn for no reason. When I have no fucking range. Maybe I can stun him with my electricity. When I'm jumping at him. Because it's a spear. Okay. There we go. Don't think I can make it over there, so we're not going to bother. Beware of the backswing. Apparently that still hits. Which is bullshit. I'm gonna let him go again. Because I'll probably do damage. It's a little sparky. Sp oh, spiky, I mean. Look out for the backswing. And light gem. Huzzah. Now if we die, nothing will really be lost. Then again, maybe my electro ranged option is better than the firebomb. So maybe I should try that. Hmm, it is better. It's just I never really had it. Like, there's no tutorial of the bombs. It's like, hey, you can use bombs. And then they didn't tell you what the bombs do. Not really. Or that they're like, operate differently. Would be nice if there was like a mini tutorial. It's just like, like, hey, Spyro. These are like super projectiles. Use them. That'd be nice to know, to have information. This is going to be slippery, I think. Come on, game. I was past it, you bastard. At least we're spawned here now. Yeah, we're going to quickly go back so that we can stock up on stuff. Then we're going to go do the thing that I... Remember that we can do now. Feel free to browse my fine wares, my and since we have the money, we can buy that again. Feel free to browse my and now... Spin, spin, spin. Ah, because we can't do that here. My bad. We have to do it specifically from the big teleporter. We need to go back to the Dragon Kingdom so we can go to the swamp. So we can do the supercharge. 
specifically. Since it should be nice, quick, and easy to do. Feel free to browse my fine well, Spyro, and spend, spend, spend. But I just forget. Because Forgotten Temple? Let's see. Which one was it? Because it's not Dragonfly Falls. It is Crocoville Swamp. Perilous Pyramid? Could it be? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because that's the temple, I think. So I think that's the one we need to go to. It's been a bit. And if not, these are just like small areas we can run back. They're small and simple. Yep, there's the wrong one. Darn it. Remember when things were simple? When exploding boomerangs didn't exist? I'm going the wrong way. Darn it. Kill the armadillo rats. And we'll just run the way. I don't care about the damage you deal me, spikies. Here we are. With the supercharge. That is Crocoville Swamp done, Dragon Village done, and then a decent bit of Dragonfly Falls because there's that, like, uh, special locked-off area for, like, 70, I think. 70 light gems. Head back to Dragon Village. That's the one that I particularly remembered. And now we'll head back to the frozen tundra. Or icy wilderness or whatever they call it nowadays. Remember to stay hydrated as you travel all over the world. Ball. Let's see. Yep, now it's just head on down. Oh, yeah, we should probably restock on our health with the rabbits. I do like that I can kind of stun armored guys with my lightning. Now let's see. So really, lightning is kind of very good. Because it stuns them from doing their activation. 
So it means you can just jump on in. And don't want to go that way. We went ahead. Then again, I could have bought a ticket. But who wants to buy a ticket? Suffer and die. Again. If I have one major complaint with this game, it's the lack of invincibility frames, which is just inexcusable in terms of game design. You cannot double jump on ice. Of that I've already known. Why do you have exploding spears? That just seems very counterintuitive. Well, I guess since we're here. Uh, cutscene has activated, I guess. So I, you're, tell me to stop you. you're, you're very, you're very fast. I've beaten bigger baddies than you. All I have to do is run around here a few times while I figure out your <laughs> weakness. Then I just hit you three times and. That's not how that just works at all. Went in through his nose. Oh, hey, Hunter. We haven't seen you in a while. Why are you here at all? Hunter, it's me. I keep forgetting that you can talk. Sparks? Hey, what are you doing here? And where's Spyro? It all started when we ran into this elephant. Only it, it wasn't really an elephant. He had hair all over his body. I see. And Harry? Oh no! They got Spyro? We have to rescue him before it's too late! Time to go yeah, mammoth hunting, I guess. Already too late. <laughs> Relax, buddy. Spyro's still alive. I know, because if he weren't, we'd be going back to a previous save. <laughs> I rock. I do think that the meta humor is a little overplayed in this. Just a little too much. Ah, and then we can go back if we want to, apparently. But let's just play as this. Play it out. Oh. Okay, so you're not an evil one. But I figured I'd give you a shot anyway. Passing through. I'm on a mission to rescue Spyro. He's gone and got himself captured. How you doing? Uh, some yetis from the neighborhood chased me out of my house. But why? I don't want to bore you. You're busy looking for Spyro. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you sure you're okay, Bentley? I could go in there with my bows and arrows and get rid of him for you. We can do some murder. You old pal, I would be very grateful. My cave is through there, and you'll have to climb the wall to reach it. You've got to be careful. There's quite a few bad guys, and they're very tough. Ah, that's what we have arrows for. Get rid of all the yetis. I'll give you a reward. <laughs> if you'll... <laughs> Hunter. Basically, the <laughs> Spyro Hitman now. Have to climb the. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because we can do this. They explicitly said you have to climb the wall. I just completely forgot that this is a game mechanic. Considering that we only like controlled Hunter like what once, maybe twice. I don't know. It feels weird. And I see you, a uh, game. I hate you, wall. The real question is, why did they run him out? Well, 
obviously there has to be something in there. Something good. It's glowing. Nothing else here, it seems. So onwards we go. For more Yeti murder. How dare you. I think we can destroy you with a fire arrow, but... Man, do I care to? You're just... You're just gems. Never mind your gems and more fire arrows. Do these yetis just... I also find it funny. It's like, oh yeah, yetis from the neighborhood, when it's hardly that at all. They just seem to be random yetis. Maybe it's because Blink ran them out of their homes. Be careful, Hunter. They're very difficult. They're very hard. Meanwhile, we're just taking all of Bentley's gems. And his eggs. Why would he even have a dragon egg? Was he keeping it to, like, blackmail Spyro one of these days? And that rabbit just went into the ground. Also, that does not seem like a... a safe thing. It's glowing purple. Time to go rabbit hunting. Oh, hey, a free lockpick. And it just loops around. Yay. Just have to jump up the slippery slide of doom. Go back and say, hey, we murdered your neighbors, I guess. Or, I mean, were they your neighbors? They came and kicked you out of your house. Not very neighborly, is it? Also, did that look like there was... Why is there a... I have to see now. Was that just a glitch? Why was there a gym there? The murder is done. Oh, thanks, pal. Let me help you with that door so you can go about your business. So really, I had to help him anyway. I meant to give you this on your birthday. <laughs> Sorry, it's so late. Oh, yeah. Light jam. Okay, sure. I'll give it to Spyro. You, you can return it. Oh, no, 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 no. I love it. I'll give it to Spyro. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Good luck with finding Spyro, old buddy. And now, 50. Game, why are you giving me... I guess they, they're giving me lockpicks because I can't go to the shop, presumably. Dang it. I got hit. I got hit again. Damn it. Well, now I need to be real careful. Darn you, you were going down. How'd you hit me? Makes no sense, and we just spawn here again. Why wasn't there a save fairy down there? After the gate. Weird game. Luckily, it saved the light gem, so I don't need to talk to you. Hey, it's like, oh, you have all that you need. At least nice that we don't need to do the stomps again. Why are you crouching there? I already see you. Ow. My bad, I guess. Ah. 
random free- Oh, it's gonna be a bot. I was gonna say. Or maybe it's just gonna open up the next- Now you stop that. Like, I know they have shields, but how dare. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be an annoying level. I wonder if I can just shoot the necromancer from here. Now it looks like you're gonna be a conversation. Yeah, because there's just, like, no way to actually out-melee these guys. Why? Like, maybe the fire arrows would have helped, but... I doubt so. Yeah, so I need to... Oh. So they actually do give you fire arrows, at least in here. Game... Stop it. Like, there's a... There's no out way to out-melee the skeletons. They just charge at you. Maybe if I stay in here, they'll go make a perimeter and then I can maybe punch them during their charge or something. I don't know. It's like, why would you give this to the ranged man? It's just a little frustrating to have to do hit and run tactics with goddamn skeletons that pre hit me slightly if I get too close. I apparently had a heart attack, I guess. Just ever so slightly weird that there was just a random necromancer in there. Because it honestly didn't feel like that was what I was meant to do. Or maybe they expected you to be like, Ah, oh, necromancer guy, I'll go for him, and then you'll find the safe cave, but... I don't know. Just felt wonky and weird. Aw, oh, man, I don't think I have... Game, why would you continue to throw things that fall from the sky at me? It's just annoying. I am never free of that phenomena. It honestly doesn't feel like I can make that, and I don't have an explodey. Game, why? Why design like this? Because now I have to run back and hope they respawned the explosive arrows, because game is weird and decided that would be mandatory. Even though it feels like those are there to kind of fight the skeletons, but not really, because it's suboptimal. This design is weird. Because I don't think I can make the jump to where the Yeti guy is. But apparently we'll have to. Gotcha, game. Yeah, just, it feels so far away. Like, maybe if I hit that? Okay, I did need to hit that. I don't know, it just, it felt weird. Considering that there was that other, like, diddly D, I I thought it wasn't meant to be that. Oddly enough, having, like, an, an arrow target shooter thing in its natural habitat made me think that it wasn't something that I was supposed to hit. It's weird. From YouTube chat, 
I find it funny that Elder Thomas, Red, Hunter, and Spyro are all voiced by the same person. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Multiversatal. I'm not sure if it's spinning slowly because they want me to go buy it or if they wanted me to wait. I wouldn't wa buy it either way, but still. How dare. Like, I knew that there were enemy bats, but I didn't think that they would all come... That's very rude. Try and come from the top like that. Also, Hunter, why are you just hanging out in this hellscape? Uh, I guess bomb. Similar to like, why is that guy hanging out in a prison cell? Why is there a dragon skeleton in here? That just got like, crushed. Or maybe it's a dinosaur looks kind of dragony to me. Oh no, not more skeletons! It seemed like it was a soul, a singular, singular skeleton. But I feel like the boss fight is going to be against a necromancer. Oh uh, no. Boom! Headshot! gonna randomly spam into the into the bats and until some of them die never mind it looks like they respawn because this game is mean this is fun design it's not why would you design like that enemies that you can't kill permanently bad design they're not even the skeletons which at least could have been fitting. Yeah, I think that's where we started, but you never know. I hope I get to another save fairy before the bats come to finish the job. Okay, good. Save fairy. So if I wanted to... I guess come fight me. Never mind, you're patrolling. Why is there a gap in the spine? Actually, I can just walk by you. What? Game, I hit jump. Game, I hit jump. How dare. You have quick, frantic platforming, and you punish quick responses. I punch a yeti in anger. Just wait for him to respawn eternally. Of course. Why? Why? It, it spawns right on top of your head. Game, stop and design good. This game is just obsessed with randomly dropping things on your head without warning. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Get... Damn you. Why is the platforming in this game... Like the most everything. All right, that skeleton decided he didn't want to fight me and it ruined everything for me. 
The skeleton just did not want to fight. He just wants to patrol. I'm not within his quota. Okay. That was close game, damn you. Yeah, pick up the damn egg so I can shoot. And of course, the sparks part comes in. Pyro always used to send me into cracks like this. <laughs> oh, did they? So go do it. <laughs> Should I take it from here? <laughs> he just revealed his trauma. Well, let's see. Because uh, the last time the th things were mean. But maybe it won't be as bad this time. It's giving me a lot of clearance to shoot with. The effects are very bright and shiny today. Maybe there's up. Oh, I was gonna say maybe there's no spiders because it's too cold out. Nope, there's the spiders. Quit using the other bugs as shields, you bastards. You spidery bastards. So far, this one is a lot more chill. Why was the Atlantis one evil? Like, did somebody else design that course? It's like, I'm gonna make the most difficult, not Star Fox game level ever. And did somebody who had an actual human heart and empathy make this one? Like, sure, there's not a lot of interactive super duper stuff going on, but hey, it's fun. Which I can vibe with. Hey, Neon, hello, hello. We are playing Spyro a Hero's Tale. The platforming is either mean to me or maybe I just suck. Can I try again to see if I can find a light gem? Of course. We always do it. And considering that the layout is very simple... I genuinely think we shouldn't have much trouble getting the light gym on this run. But I gotta say, I do enjoy that they are incorporating the this hunter segment into the story. <laughs> Excuse me. My sinuses were acting up there. I was talking and the it just didn't like that at all. But it is very cool how like they actually have a story segment for why things are the way they are. Instead of being like, hey, Spyro, I can go to this segment for you. Instead, have it be actually Spyro is in need of help. Again, I I'm kind of baffled that they ha never brought back a Laura for any of these games. But Hunter is everywhere. They brought back the Professor, but not a Laura. Again, it's just so freaking shiny. I can't see nothing. Yeah, a lot more enemies, different enemies, but the layout is nice. They're giving us spacing. Also, I gotta say, it's hilarious that Sparks is like uber god murder destroyer of everything in these segments. Can't do anything out there in the world against anything else, which is hilarious. And because there's less, like, pressing enemies and obstacles to worry about, the fact that the, uh, 
reticle bullets don't 100% go where you aim sometimes is ignorable. Huzzah! Thing be good. Good for you, little man. There was nothing else down there, but I can always go back and practice. It was good fun. <laughs> Why would you want to, like, go down there more? To practice. It's hell in there. You had an entire segment of talking to Hunter going, Spyro used to send me down into the hell. Maybe that's just it. He, uh, more of the wall crawlers. We have, presumably he goes in a cycle. We follow him in a cycle. Ah, uh, shit. Then that makes me think that there's things that way. Because there was a left way. Actually, we'll wait for him to go by. Presumably. Really, I don't know why they have Hunter able to climb walls. Ah, uh, this is just a patrol area for the bug. I just want to make sure there was nothing that way. Because you never know. Other games might have put something that way. Dragon Egg, Blight Gym, something. But yeah, really, I don't know why we have wall crawling with with hunter doesn't really serve a purpose aside from like a little bit of padding really it's like we have to are you gonna turn around maybe you're just gonna continue yeah it's just a cycle there it just it just feels like we need more gameplay for hunter what if he crawled on the wall it's not very, a uh, cat thing to do. Well, then again, some do. Some cats do indeed crawl on wall. Well, at least I... Uh, game, I was like, why are you not climbing on wall? Now we're gonna let him go by, just in case. I heard him do his reset. Good thing I turned around to look around. More light gym for me. I wonder if I can make it. I can make it. Screw your wall. Nice. Alright, interesting. Dynamic falling. Interesting. Like, are you alive? Kinda, but not really. Just a ton of light gems in there. Ah, right, time to climb in. Is Spyro in there? Chained up like a gimp? I'll blow up the cage. Surely you'll live. Uh, very funny. It is kind of cool because we've never seen Spyro like in danger before. Like this, at least. He's never been damseled. Uh, thanks, Hunter. Now I'm off to find Red. Hey, you want me to uh, tag along? No, no, no. I'll continue from here. All right, then. See you soon, buddy. You look after yourself. Cool? And I can only presume that we can replay that Hunter segment whenever to get anything we might have missed. Yeah, that's just a bottomless hole. Oh, we can actually kill these guys. 
but only with the power of electricity. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Oh, Ice Citadel. So this is like a, just a new, new area. Ah, uh, looks like we missed a thing in Gloomy Glacier. Two things in Gloomy Glacier. I'm gonna have to replay that? Damn it. That was just like a whole thing. But honestly, it's starting to feel like this is like the final area, almost, which is weird. Because in fact, the oh, wrong thing. Because that's a status screen. Uh, we're only 56% of the way through. How do you have a teleporter within like the villain's stronghold? At least I think it's a villain's stronghold. It feels like it. What am I saying? You're money bags. You, you have access everywhere. But we're definitely going to save the Gloomy Glacier replay through for like the we have to run around and look for missing gems or like a yeah, missing light gems and missing egg stream that we'll inevitably have to do. I just want to make sure there was nothing over here. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro. And spend... I do like the music, though. The music's pretty nice. It's just interesting that we can actually destroy these guys. These living... Uh, fine. And they became one gym. Singular. Get obliterated. Uh, we'll definitely need to activate a supercharge to get through that then. Wonder why that one's just going around in a circle. <laughs> it didn't even react. He was just like. Well, I guess it's my time to die. Oh, hey. I guess we'll activate you because we can. Well, I guess since that was super simple, we can just... Did I activate you? It did, but I'm going to head back down and... Grab the extra gems, because that's a decent amount of gems there. That firework went far? Indeed. The little firework that could. And we can't we can't put out the fire that we began. But I'm guessing this will be a like a loop back point, maybe? At some point. Why does that one just constantly go? Didn't even wait for me. How dare. You monster platform. Before we go through there... Uh, well, then again, we didn't even really check it out. Let's check the map first. Just seems to be, like, a way to go. So let's activate you again. Never mind. Well, I cut myself off. Damn you, game. Because there's that, like, that one platform that, like, that wasn't, like, going anywhere. It was just staying there. I was like, wonder what that is. I directly went around the dark gym. How dare you. Now, 
Then again, it'll probably will be a loop around point, so things shouldn't be too terrible. Because I can't activate that, but okay. Weird. It's like, it opens, it closes, it opens, it closes. Oh, electricity, like, destroys those kinds of chests? Huh. But so far, this is an interesting segment of the game. Where we kind of got teleported because of plot. Oh. Didn't expect that. Oh, hey, it's the other, uh, Dragon Elder. You really should eat your food. That's wasteful to not to. Free at last, Spyro. Oh, thank you. I have been trapped here since Red returned from exile. Oh, I've met with the other Dragon Elders, and I... Yes, <laughs> I get it. Then you have acquired most of the skills you will need. However, there is one more skill you must have if you are to face... Your the skill that that Blink Mole has known the entire time. You now have the ability to wall kick from one wall to the other. Like Mario! Close enough to achieve any real height. In order to wall kick, you must jump onto the wall and jump again after contact. Spyro, you must remember that only certain wall types will allow you to perform the wall kick. You must learn their telltale signs, none of your ADD. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's like... Uh... I'm guessing that there must be a wall kick wall here, then. If you know how to wall kick, why didn't you get out, old man? Also, that's not freedom for him. He's still stuck here forever. <laughs> now you can go back to the cloudy domain and do the wall kick. Yep. Considering there's going to be so many places that I need to go back to... Well, it depends on how quickly we finish off this area. If there's, like, some spare time at the end of stream, I'll try to go back to some areas to clean up some missing dragon eggs and just, like, things we, we could do. Maybe do the gloomy canyon thing again, find the hidden things that we're missing. Also, I will probably be a standalone... Like, hey, let's find everything again, stream. Everything first. Open that up. I do like the supercharge. Breaks through the other... Blah, blah, blah. Ah, but we're still in Icy Citadel. And there is a loop point. Huh. Is it up? Well, there's a loop point on the map. Maybe it's up. It could be up. Let's see. More bombs. Not exactly what I need. How dare you shoot me while I'm supercharging. Also, lightning breath. Lock onto enemy, please. Let me just quickly double check. This is not the way. Well, not the way I'm willing to go. What about the... Go ahead, Spyro, if you 
What about that way? Yeah, that seems to be more of a loop point, so we'll buy some things from you, I guess. How dare you? That is the way it was meant to go. And you all know it, game. Hmm, so I need to follow the lights. More than anything. Now it loops around. I should probably head back and top up on my charge to go through the sewage. Hmm, I wonder. We'll not be able to fly through there, I think. I think we need to go through the charge. Follow the light. The light rings are friend. Go. Now we can continue. How dare you. Again, got hit by the backswing. How dare. Do a little dance, gremlin boy. Weird animation. Uh, not Sergeant Bird. I really didn't like Sergeant Bird's level. The last Sergeant Bird level was not very nice. But maybe it'll be more like Sparks level and have it actually be good. Let's see. There's up there, which is a dead end. And then, well, it kind of goes everywhere, so we should probably do. What about this room? This seems to be just a, a mini room. And... Hopefully that stays open. I do like that the lightning has more, like, reach. Interesting. Interesting that that opened. It honestly feels like they're giving light gems out like candy. Hmm. And this leads to another area, actually. Good. If, you, if that didn't open, I was going to be very annoyed. All right, Sergeant Bird. Let's suffer through you. Hello, Spyro. Still soldiering on, old chap? Eh? Hey? <laughs> hey, hey, a little array of humor for you. Well, shall I attack the enemy? Or is this just a drill? Well, it's called a drill, but kill them anyway. All right, complete the tasks. All right, the camera is, is appears to be my main enemy right now. Well, game, I shot him. Please kill. I guess I'll stop around here to obliterate these seagulls. At least they didn't reuse the vultures again. This also seems maybe like a potentially uh, smaller level almost. We'll have to wait and see. Fairly certain that I hit that egg thief. Kind of annoying that he didn't die. 
Ah, great. Rings that are dictated by draw distance. My favorite. All right, that was my fault. I hit the ground. Hit the ground running a little too hard. Continuing the tradition of things on top for some reason. I'm missing the arches and the birds. Well, for the, some of the loop de doo the bird, ah, no, the bird's right over there. I am the fool. I just need to find the last arch. Now, where could the last arch be hiding? I probably should have tried to do them in order, but then again, who knows with this game. Sometimes the arches are right where you expect them to be, other times they're not. But I got most everything, just I missed the arches. Oh, and one egg, or gym thief, I guess. It's just I'm so used to them being egg thieves. I was missing one thief. And one arch. And the thieves just be running all over the place, so. Potentially difficult to track them down. Then again, they all seem to be out here. That is not Sergeant Bird's voice at all. How dare you? Ugh! <laughs> Ah, because last gem thief was up here. So it's entirely possible that the last arch is also up here. Yep, there it is. Now I just need the last bird. Oh, and the rings. I almost forgot about the rings. Because they're invisible. I feel like I'm going to hate the light gym variant of this. Because the, the invisible fucking goddamn bullshit. Oh, there you are. Die. Ah, oh, fine. I'll meet you on the other side. There we go. Luckily, it's a small level, so I should be able to seek everything out decently. I just didn't look on top. Sure. need to be on the lookout for anywhere they could potentially move things cheekily because that's basically this game's mo when it comes to level design not to mention also the egg thieves are or like gym thieves our little Weird. Let's move about a bit. Because just because this is a 
small right now level doesn't mean they can't make it big and annoying. Okay. They just moved the rings. Good. My god, is this actual good design? I'm beginning to think that it is. Now we just need that last gym thief, which is probably up here. My god! This is so much better than the Cloudy Domains level! So much better! Granted, it's a smaller level with more defined, like, land. So it's less hard- it's much more difficult to fuck up. Because I rem <laughs> a good soldier follows orders, not really. No. Most definitely not. <laughs> yeah, we need to... A... Ah, great, these guys respawn. Ah, fuck off. You bastard. We need to go get that supercharge again to come on through and open that up. Dang it, I didn't hit it. Open sesame. Booyah. The more upgrades we get, the more the world opens up. It's just grand. Oh, that's what I need. I also need supercharge for that. Ah, I really like that. Because here's the thing, when things are just nice and simple, but fun, that will always beat out, oh, but we need difficulty to pad things out. No, just make it fun. Ha just have things be more fun. And it usually wins out. So I feel like that would lead to... Because then again, there are teleporters, so it doesn't really matter. But that feels definitely like, go that way for story. But I'm going to go this way for the loop around. Into the citadel. Uh, it, are you like the original owner of this ice citadel before the red came along? Allow me to steal everything else you have. Ah, oh, it's a fox princess. I am the ice princess. <laughs> because it's freezing in here. Please. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. From Twitch chat, looks like they finally put the fun in this world. Exactly. Because, like, the other places kind of bordered on we need to have it be difficult because difficulty important. Difficulty is fine, but you need a lot of other stuff to it as well. Because, of course, you don't want things to just be easy and handed to you. But you also need to make it so that it's just, like, fun. It's fun and fine. Because difficulty can sometimes actually detract from a game. Especially when people misunderstand difficulty as annoying or make the player lose. 
What do you mean it's bad difficulty? I made the player lose, didn't I? Difficulty in and of itself is difficult to manage. But bad difficulty is, in my opinion, worse than just like okay difficulty. I'm gonna assume that this... I don't know, actually. Yeah, I figured it would take me up for a better view. Oh, Dragon Egg. Now we have 50 Dragon Eggs out of... I keep pressing the wrong one. 50 Dragon Eggs out of 80. Very nice. Now, which way do I want to go for... That's loop. That's also loop, but in a different way. Huh. Yeah, difficulty can just be a... In and of itself, difficult to do. But overall, you just want to avoid frustration. Well, that's main game. Oh, I needed to wait for it to go down. <laughs> One more pink egg and I can play as Ember. So says. Uh, I, I went to double jump to get onto the first one, then I went bleh. Luckily, I have no... Almost. They went out of sync, so I'm not sure of, like, what it wants from me. We'll wait for it to go down all the way next time. Okay. This is just obtuse because there's no indicator of, like, how far I can fly, so I don't know what the game wants from me, so it's just annoying. Okay. Gotcha, game. Again, you could have just had these be stationary, but instead you went, Oh, but we have to add difficulty, and you made it obtuse. You made it weird rather than fun. And thus have met a portion of failure in my eyes. Again, the only reason why some of these design decisions get a pass is because they're not, like, utterly hor- like, because of the live system. There are no lives, so I have no reason to really get angry at it. Hmm. There is a little, like, nook. Let's see, is it just this nook that was on the map? Because I need to be careful. Yeah, it's like, oh hey, you can go that way when it's definitely not. Then we will go on the proper way to the loop, use a teleporter to uh, get back. I guess we'll like wander around, see if we can find any missing... Generators. Were there lives in Enter the Dragonfly? I think so. But the frustration didn't really come from... Hmm, how do I get you? But the frustration didn't really come from... Dying, it just came from the design being terrible. Again, I do have some sympathy for the devs because they were crunched to high hell. But still, they somehow failed to put just a normal box. 
of geometry for the player to jump on in the proper place. So either they were crunched to even more hell than you can imagine. Or there was just like a very, very poor, uh, poor design work there. I'm just getting light gems left and right in here. But I guess that's the game telling me that I did it. Odd that the, the map says I should be able to go down. Or like, go somewhere. Oh, there you are. Might as well follow you a little bit. So let's see. Uh, we're missing two eggs and two light gems. If we're probably going to get a light gem from her. And I think I know where I might have missed something. So you know what? Might actually just play through the... Citadel again for a second look around. Because why not? Let's get a second opinion of this place. Get obliterated, little man. Your shields will not protect you. The constant slamming sounds. They're here for you. Knew that it was a loop around. Let's see. I have fool everything. Yeah, because I think I know potentially where... Like, one thing is, because I never took you, so let's see where you want to take me. Well, there's, there's it. And are you just a platform platform, or are you, you going to move, or... Doesn't look like you're going to move, okay. Okay. So, one light gem, two dragon eggs. I should have gone back to my cell to see if I missed anything. I'm a fool. I am the supreme fool of Foolsville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squabble, squabble, squabble. Like, I come back down. Oh, may I wonder. Could there maybe be a hidden room up here? Would be a bitch place to put one, but... You can never underestimate your enemies. And sometimes the devs are your enemies. Nope, this is just the way we're meant to go. But I... No backswing for you. I'm in my supercharged state. How dare you hit me? Hmm. For some reason, I thought there was a... Like, more things in there. Like, I thought there was an elevator that was supposed to come down. But we'll go talk to the... Ice Princess, Fox Lady. Honestly surprised I haven't seen porn of her yet. You should be free now. That's much better. And the animation, like on her ears and everything, is actually pretty good.
Yeah, that's all the light gems, just one egg missing. Of which I'm going to assume that that one egg is back in my prison area. In fact, I'm going to go back again. Because there is a teleporter that we can take. Well, then again, why don't I take the teleporter? Ah, because there might be things I missed. Also, gotta say, the addition of teleporter, very nice. Let me double check this one. I think we did everything in there. I presume. I electrify you. Which really should just absolutely murder you, but, you know, world is weird. Speaking of weird, unless there's a weird place for the dragon eggs. Like, again, I think that there might be one behind Spyro. I don't trust the, the, the you guys. We have to wait for the elevator to come back down. Just so we can do some more investigating. Because the fear things we have to look for in the future, the better. Unless there could be a secret area and the egg is there. Maybe. But at the same time, typically even, like, the secret areas have, like, hints. Or, like, they're on the map to a degree. And I've been trying to keep an eye out for anything weird. Because uh, it doesn't feel like it there. And plus, it feels like they kind of fell off on using secret areas past, uh, like, the first world. After the first world, they kind of just kept it to be normal. Hmm. Because... How about we came from there, so there wasn't, there wouldn't be anything there. Like, Hunter came from there, and there wasn't anything there. Then again, I think it activated in a cutscene, so who knows. But who knows, maybe there's two dragon eggs up ahead. In that one area we've yet to go, I just wanted to make cover all my bases. So if we do have to come back, it's because I'm an idiot. Give it a fair shake. Just run by everything and go up here. Oh, well, there's one egg. That makes it simple. So, yeah, this area only has one egg. That I am potentially missing. Hey, Spyro, over here. Let me just double check, because you never know. Devs might be like, I'm gonna put it in a cheeky spot. Go ahead, Spyro, if you've got money to spend then again, there was a dragon egg thief right there, so it would be a weird place to put yet another dragon egg. Weird. Is it? Is that there in case I like came from the other side? Like I teleported out or something? Just making sure I'm covering all my bases. Dang it! And a light gem for Frostbite Village. All right. So when we have to traverse elsewhere, it's because I am a fool. I could always try to, like, look up a guide. 
on like where all the dragon eggs are and be like, oh, I don't remember that one and go for them. It's like lots of possibilities. Smash all those and then smash you. Get annihilated, little mole man. You idiot. 95 to get into that area. And hilariously, I don't think we're that far off. So, uh, basically, all to the upper left is meaningless to me. Get annihilated, bird. Yeah, that's the exit for the secret area, I think. Interesting boppy music I just realized for this area. Temporary. That's mean. I thought they'd be cool. Ah, they intro. They come on in. Also, didn't there wasn't there a fairy that saved me for that segment? That's weird. No, just all in my head. Getting there. Get obliterated. Why do all projectiles explode in this world? And another dragon egg. Let's see. So. Yeah, we have, we'll have to do Gloomy Glacier again because there's two missing in there. One dragon egg missing in the Ice Citadel. And uh, who knows how many are missing because we don't have access to a few places. Oh, yeah, we will. Well, maybe we have a bit. We'll have to see about uh, heading back to the place the mammoth was. Just glance around, see if there's any secrets. Doesn't seem like it. I annihilate your home. The shock of losing your home is so bad you have a heart attack. You die. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, just gyms. Why do you even do that? That's just mean. Oh boy! Stationary pole dancing. Exactly what I wanted. Even if the backswing still hurts, how dare. Hmm, relatively simple to get. Almost makes me wonder if there's other secrets to this place. That seems a bit simple. I 
think I'll be able to make it from here. Seems to be everything for this area. I know that will just... We have money beyond money. We'll head back here. Well, actually, uh, let's head to the other place. <laughs> See if we can go where the mammoth didn't want us to go. It just activates again. Sparks goes to Hunter. He's like, Hunter, Spyro got smacked again. He's like, what? Already? I just saved him. Ah, I didn't even realize this part. Let's do this segment. Well, that's weird. There we go. How dare you try to hurt the boy. Huh. I was going the completely wrong way about it. I basically shortcut it a bit, but hey. I doubt there's anything important in there, and if there is, I can always buh buh buh. Surprise! Ah, egg. Yeah, if the clip we're going, we should be able to... Let me quickly see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything important over there on the part that we kind of skipped. But with the pace that we're going, we should be able to... Do a bit of extra egg hunting before ending stream. Since we should have, like, most, if not all, the major upgrades. We should be able to backtrack a decent bit. Of course, let's free the area of gloom. Oh, dang it, I fell off. Yep, now that we have all the, uh, the, like, needed amount of broken dark stones, we can go fight the boss. But only after we do the platforming of magicalness. Damn you. <laughs> I have no momentum, but I can still destroy them with charge. Yeah, a little annoyed by the waiting game that a lot of the platforming forces on you. I would prefer it to just be like, hey... recognize I just I don't know how to do this one maybe like that all right that's extra rude game that you ate my fly but I don't think there's anything important over there but still there could be important things over there hidden and I because I didn't get to investigate you bastard Why is it only that one that I can't grab the edge of? 
which is very weird. Then again, if I waited on the middle one, it would probably pass by the area that I want to get to. But that would also take a while. Waste more of my time. I just don't like it when games continually waste my time. But fine, it'll probably be faster. Where are all these giant snowballs even coming from? Let me just quickly check. Yeah, there's just this one little cave on the map. Again, I am very thankful that I don't have to gather up all of the... the gems in each world as part of completion. That would just be evil. Yeah, it just looks like it's... gems, but you never know. They could have done something funky. And I always like to double check. Super weird. It looks like this is just a treasure room, but we'll try to do an in-depth sweep. As well as hit you. Nah, just a treasure room. Sadness. And we will move along back to where we came. The music is nice in this level, at least. Let's see. Because that's where the mammoth smacked us down, I think. Was this a different hole? Yeah, the mammoth laid the smack down, but he's not here to smack us down right now. So we have free reign of this place. Ah, so if we want to redo it from here, we can. Hmm. We'll go because it looks like we can start here and maybe shoot that which might do a thing. And there's only one light gem and one egg remaining. If I remember correctly, yeah, that's the light... Uh, so yeah, let's go pre do the smackdown of the boss. And... Uh, then look about... Maybe doing some extra egg and gym hunting. Since I have an abundance of money, I shall go ahead and buy that. And now let's go fight the, the mammoth. Who at first I thought was like, oh, he's the one that doesn't want to fight me. He is the innocent man. He is not innocent. More. Yeah, why not buy more? I have gems. Let's just buy all of your upgrades. No idea what the water bombs could possibly do. I have the money for it, so why not? How many firebombs can I fucking buy? An infinite amount, it seems. Only ten electric, all the firebombs you could ever want. Well, off we go to fight the mammoth. The, uh, the, the sky did not change a bit. I could want to check. Wrong button. Uh, yep. Lots and lots. Oddly, the Sparks m shooter mini... Oh, no. 
Have I been... Is there going to be that many Spark Shooter minigames left? Jesus. Why are there so many more remaining Spark Shooter minigames compared to everybody else? Utterly mad. I probably should have stocked up on health, but eh, we're probably going to die in round one anyway. Like we did against Ursula. Yo, mammoth boy. I ain't into that. I ain't into that foot fetish shit that you subjected me to. Oh, it's red. I thought we were gonna fight the mammoth. Interesting. I thought we were gonna fight the mammoth. It'll turn out the mammoth is the big bad all along. Alright. Oh, there's a ring. Oh, my bad. Dang it. I have no idea how to damage him. Dang it! The spacing on those, and the fact that it's a slippery shoot-up. Dang it! You're just a frustrating little bean, aren't you? Darn you. How am I supposed to ram it into him like that? Game? <laughs> that stupid design. I can't just give him a big old boop and send him on his way. It's like, no. Uh, just annoying. I don't like this guy's vibes in boss battle. It's just frustrating. To damage him, it's just something that doesn't vibe. Spawn your stupid little boxes already, asshole. There we go. So you destroy them all? So it's... So unless you're really... Damn you! Why do you open with that? I don't like your... 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 I feel like those projectiles are a little too fast for the split one. And it should be split. So you can hit them multiple times, but you need to be very quick. You're running around on all fours? He's very angry now. Oh boy, falling obstacles that I can't really see. Damn you with your split bullshit. Because you're, like, running from things. Already. Your split bullshit is evil. Oh, now you're going for the three. Oh, you're very annoying. Well, there goes my attempt to hit you, because you just did something new with no regard for teaching the player. And also the fact that these just, like, drag on a lot. Like, if there was, like, a secondary way to hit him, maybe. But it just drags on and on and on. You have to learn, and then do it again and again. Damn you. It's just kind of bothersome and annoying. 
Like, why even have this segment just go back to the shooty duty? Why even have little minions that I have to deal with? It's just minorly annoying. Not as fun as, like, the Ursula fight. Not as simple as the Nasty Nork fight. Again, it feels like they're encroaching into the realm of just make it annoying. And again, the fact that these can hit you too. Oh, and now he jumps over them too. That's, that's stupid. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not enjoying your bullshit little g game hitboxes. Hitboxes game. And he, he's way too fast to go into that mode during all this as well. Just not enjoying it. It's a little too fast. It's on ice. There's spikes around. It's just a little annoying. Reset me. It's not fun right now. I think that's it. I think it's just a little too fast overall. But you need to go fast. Because you want it to be over. Should open with double. Damn you. Like, if the actually damaging him part wasn't a bitch, I think I wouldn't mind as much. But that's the issue. It's just a little... And the fact that he does that! <laughs> Come on, game! Why does he jump over the second one that you try to throw at him? That's just stupid. I don't... And why did that projectile bounce? Fuck off. Not enjoying this. Not enjoying this. That just reset me, you bastarding cunt of a game. Just reset me. Give me my health back. Again, if only damaging him wasn't such a bitch. That's all they needed to fix. And it would be mildly more, like, actually fun. Come on. I was out of that. Fuck you. That did not hit me, you cunt. Now that one hit me, but you're still a cunt. Eh, fuck off. I'm not having fun with this boss fight. No, don't fucking heal. Just, like, get me out of here. I don't want to deal with it. I can't wait for it to get down to me only having one damaging box to throw at him that he instantly destroys, keeping me here forever. Why must you overcomplicate the goddamn bus fight, you assholes? I wish there was a little bit more telegraphing on which projectile he's throwing out. Something, anything. Give me more power on this boss fight, you assholes. I wonder if I could do that to him. Probably not, they just freeze me. Because the wing shield is meaningless. That should have hit him. And he's way too fast to go after them too. So you can't double hit him as easily. Skill expression in my Spyro? How dare you. I hate that. Come on. There should be like a little flash on his gym badge. Showing how many he's going to shoot at you. Because now it's the singular one that's hard to dodge. Again, I feel like it's just a little annoying, like, that those can hurt you as well. Alright, interesting. Oh, did they get rid of the spikes? They got rid of the spikes. It's probably gonna be fire now, isn't it? 
I have no idea what's happening. Oh, is it shrinking? And then I just explode. Interesting. I did not know what to expect. So this is a survival mode. I need to get close without maybe jump over his spinning tail. Oh, and then he reforms it. Damn it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. What the fuck, game? What the fuck off? Are you serious? Why? Why? Why are you just making it completely different from everything else, you bastards? Oh, wow, that's where the difficulty comes in. There is no difficulty. It's just bullshit at that point. Like, we're going to have you learn <laughs> these different things. And now for something completely different out of nowhere and very fast. Terrible design. Let me hurt this cunt. I would like to play the game. Okay, you can't outrun it. That's fun. Totally fair. Oh, you're supposed to jump over it. And again, that spawns on me. Fuck off. What am I supposed to do? Because it was too fast for me. That first part. Damn you. Oh, fuck off. This is too much. You put too much in, you fucking assholes. It's too much that you can't even really react. Fuck off. There's too much. Too fucking much. Stop. God damn you. And I have to survive multiple versions of this. And get lucky and hope that I can do it twice in a row on the second go. This isn't fun, really. It's just frustrating. They threw a billion new things, and I'm not going to survive this. Because it just spawns! That's so stupid. It should have a loading. Like, hey, the beams are going to spawn now. Oh, well, you should look at them in the background. That's where they are. Fuck off. That's not enough. <laughs> that is not enough for this. You're throwing too many new goddamn things. Have some telog- like, have some telegraphing for the goddamn attacks. That is the basic that you could do. The bare minimum, and you just choose not to. Alright, I should be away from all lasers, and then they fucking move! Ah, shit. Again, the beams themselves should have a warning, like, loading, bam, so that you have a chance to position yourself. And then he still does this part, too. It's so annoying. Maybe if I just tap. Maybe tap strats are where it's at. Just fast enough to dodge them all. But I'm just annoyed by how many things they throw and how little telegraphing so much of it had, especially because you can get hit multiple times. Oh, no, that can still hit me? That's stupid. How dare you? When he detonates one without warning, it can hit me? Mean. Especially because this is a three-phase boss fight where the third phase has completely new shit on an astronomic level. Sure, like Nasty Nork had some new stuff, but not this much. Oh, d d again, I was looking at them and that almost still got me. Of course. Have some telegraphing of the goddamn attacks, you assholes. I fucking swear. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
I thought we were gonna go into the boxes, because again, that just this feels like a little too much. A little too much on the everything. I'm not gonna get my double hit, am I? Almost! God damn you! <sighs> the least you could do is give me another heal for my sparks, because the lasers are probably gonna kill me. The fact that this is a ton of new shit and a marathon is just very annoying. Especially with how little telegraphing there is. If there was more telegraphing, it would be less annoying. Still, like, why are you throwing this much new shit? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. If they added more telegraphing to ease the learning curve, this would be a much better boss fight. It's just the fact that... Fuck off. <laughs> They put way, way, way too much into this with not enough, like, hints of, like, hey, this is where the damage is going to come from. Better dodge. If there was more of that to allow the player to react just a bit better, it wouldn't be as bad. Ah, uh, damn it. I am infinitely mad. Why can't it just be I run into it and it runs into him? Why is it physics-based when you're doing so much already? Can't I just run up to him and flame him, you bastards? I'm sorry, this is a badly designed boss. It has pieces of good design, but then they just go over the top and put in, don't put enough good shit in. It's so annoying. Oh, hey, look, it's that unavoidable fucking RNG bullshit, my favorite. Because even if you're looking at where the goddamn electro things are, it's still possible to get hit. It's so annoying. If only I could wing shield these things. There's like no projectiles in this game that you can wing shield that you'd actually want to. Again, it's entirely possible you can, but I don't trust this game to even try. Thank God. Did not enjoy. Because it just... The lasers were over the top. Already. Because that's the main thing. The lasers were too much. The lasers. So much. No. I was so focused on the fight that I missed chat saying, you can use the water breath to push the boxes. Like, I would, like, I still think it's bad design because they don't have that be a thing. The game doesn't have any part of the game where you use water breath to push things. And that's an issue. Like, it's still a bad boss fight because... It doesn't have, like, the bits and pieces that you need to, like, learn. Because a boss fight is basically a test of, like, what the game has thrown at you. And so by failing to have parts of the game where you actually... A, a game? Why? <laughs> That's just mean. But yeah, it's like, it's still bad design because they don't teach you to push things with the water. It's just activate the water wheel. That is all it ever is. There isn't a moment in the game so far, as of, I am aware, where they actually, like, have a puzzle where you push things around with water breath. You need to tell players they can do things and... Fuck off! I jumped through it! Why? Just have it be a thing. Am I nearby pole? Press A to get on. Why are you so finicky with the hitboxes too? 
this isn't even a fun mechanic of like, ooh, freeze the water. It would be one thing if it was like, ooh, there are water spouts that you can go back to to do the, the pole dancing. But that's not even a thing. It's just this so far. Why are there so many of these? Because the main problem with that boss fight is, like, at least it's learnable up until the final phase, in which they just throw way too much at you. And then give you so little opportunity to actually do things. Wait. I'm trying to think. Why is it showing that I went that one way? Did I go that one way? Or did I come from that one way? Yeah, because I think I came from that way, from the Ice Citadel, I think. And now we're just missing one egg, which is... And uh, one diddly D, but I forget if there's anything else here that I can initially do. Hmm. Well, I guess we can always just wander around this place, like, the next time that we do, like, a blah blah blah. I'm still wondering where the one egg I missed here is. Probably hidden off in a corner. So, yeah. This one will be easy to get, Cloudy Domain. Uh, sunken Ruins, I know, like, one of them is, like, a jump-jump thing, but other thing I don't know. Coastal Remains, I forget where the main issue is of finding that one. Uh, we need 70 Light Gems to access there, but there's also probably other things we missed, definitely. Swamp is good, Dragon Village is good. But we're getting to the point where we were going to sign off. If only the boss fight was a little less annoying, we could have done more hunting. So we'll probably start next stream with, like, egg and uh, gem hunting. And then we'll continue on, depending. Well, actually, one second. Because I want to look. Because... Now we're getting there. We might do a little bit of the normal route just to get the uh, save up to 70 to access the next thing, but we'll teleport to the next realm and then we'll probably be it. Oh, Volcanic Isle, which is like one big thing, apparently. Not very volcanic. It seems more like a pirate isle. He's going to activate the volcano, isn't he? Spyro, I've got an idea where Red might be. The volcano? He has a secret underground lair somewhere on this realm. I'm going there in a while with my new gadget. Yes. Why would you go there when you can just, like, apparently teleport things? Meanwhile, see if you can find a way into the volcano. Ah, oh, we didn't even really get much of a introduction to this place. Hmm. But yeah. Next time we will probably begin by just trying to clean up the past areas. Like we'll try to go around Dragonfly Falls to find the well actually. We'll go to, like, Cloudy Domain, grab that one shard, wander around Coastal Remain for that one shard, then head back to Dragonfly Falls, wander around, activate the hidden thing. And then just try to hunt down all the missing eggs and gems that we're missing. And then we'll do this. 
See you at Saturday at 5, indeed. Next time, it'll be on Saturday at 5. Because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yes, so, like, really, overall, this was a nice stream up until that fight. And it's mostly because they just overdid it. They just threw way too much and didn't telegraph enough attacks. Like, honestly, they probably could have kept the fight as is if they just telegraphed what he was going to do just a little bit more. Because it all felt a little bit too sudden. Sure, you can learn it, but it's starting to feel like the infinite lives is just a crutch for bad design. Like, sure, you can reach, do the same segment over and over and over again infinitely, because infinite lives, but it's still annoying to do. You could still make the boss better. <laughs> but overall, still very, very good. The mini games were pretty good compared to the second world. And yeah, next time on Saturday, we will try to clean up the eggs and light gems and see what we can do. Even though it does even though it does feel like another world should open up cuz let me see like cuz it says this place only has two light gems, two eggs and one diddly d. Wait, meanwhile, oh, wrong thing. Bleh. Oh, destroy all dark gems, locate mol uh, molten mount. But, yeah, considering that we still need presumably 20 eggs, 10 dark gems, and presumably 25 light gems. Unless there's like, this is a smaller world, and then if you have enough of everything, it activates another world. I don't know. Things are weird. But we will see that weirdness next time. But yes, thank you very much for watching me utterly rage my brain out at that boss. Meh. As well as enjoy our time here doing everything else that this game has to offer. Because it's still a pretty good game. Just a, a bit of tweaking would have made it really good. If you want more from me... I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, that has links to everything that I do. So if you want edited YouTube content, I swear I'm making more, slowly, the world is evil. Uh, my main YouTube is in there, my streaming YouTube, where all these VODs get uploaded to, as well as I stream live to. My Twitch streaming, if that's more your speed. They're all in there. And then if you want more, like my little character in the corner, art that I post places, you can find all the sites that I post my art to, like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, Tumblr, various sites, all linked in my link tree. And then I'm trying to write more. And if you want to read the stories doth written by me, there are links to that as well. And my Patreon is also linked in there for the very kind and affluent peoples to throw a few dollary dues my way to ease the evils of the world. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time, where we'll see what we can do. Maybe finish the game if we can grab all the random things that are missing off our checklist. But yes... Remember, be you, be true, be kind and happy, but most importantly, definitely kind, and stay hydrated, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>